Right now we're just seeing the work, but what about when those fish come? I am so excited to see that. Those fish, alewives, will start coming in springtime. And by then, this new state-of-the-art ladder will let them easily bypass the Bristol Mills Dam, which for decades has stopped most in their tracks. For years, the first six or seven years that I was on the fish committee, I never saw a fish get up through the ladder unless we helped it. It's going to make such a difference for fish here. Deb Wilson, with her husband Mark, owned Becker Construction, which is building the ladder. And though much smaller, this project is very similar to the nearby Damariscotta Mills fish ladder, which their company also built. The Damariscotta Mills project has 69 pools, but it's the same design, a pool and weir fish ladder. Each pool rises nine inches um, to the next pool, and that has been determined to be a pretty ideal rise for alewives. From out of the ocean, the alewives make their way up the Pemaquid River to spawn beyond the dam. In a good year, some 50,000 might have made it, but not without some creative efforts by fish committee head Rick Poland and many volunteers. Oh, we had a bucket brigade this summer. Um, the fish started slowing down, getting up over the ladder, and we had a bucket brigade, which we had quite a few people come out. But with this new ladder, the days of bucket brigades will no longer be needed. Basically, the fish are drawn to the current. Instinctively, the alewives will head for the ladder, more and more returning each year. And hope is, like Damariscotta Mills, which now carries more than one million fish a year, the numbers here will, in fact, be exciting to see. I think they've been getting up uh, pretty much a minimum of the amount of fish that come in here. It's been estimated that they should be 600,000 fish in this system, and I expect within a few years we'll see that here.